Have you ever pondered the inner workings of a potentiometer? That little dial or knob that you twist to adjust the volume on your stereo, the brightness on your bedside lamp, or the speed on your miniature electric train set is a lot more important than you might think. A potentiometer, affectionately known as a pot, is a type of resistor. Now, resistors, as the name suggests, resist the flow of electric current. They're like the traffic cops of the electrical world, slowing down the charge so it doesn't rush in all at once and cause a short circuit. But what makes a potentiometer special is that it's a variable resistor. It doesn't just resist the flow of current, it lets you control how much resistance it provides. Imagine being able to control how many cars a traffic cop lets through. That's essentially what a potentiometer does. So, how does it pull off this nifty trick? Well, it's all about the design. A potentiometer consists of a resistive track and a movable contact known as a wiper. The resistive track is usually made of a material like carbon, which naturally resists the flow of electricity. The wiper glides along this track, and depending on its position, it changes the resistance. The further along the track the wiper is, the less resistance there is, and the more current can flow through. Move the wiper back, and the resistance increases, slowing down the current. This is how you control the volume, brightness, or speed of your electronic devices. There are two main types of potentiometers, rotary and linear. The rotary type is what you'd find on a volume dial, where you twist the knob to change the resistance. The linear type, on the other hand, involves sliding the wiper along a straight track, much like a fader on a sound mixing board. But no matter the type, the principle remains the same. By changing the position of the wiper along the resistive track, you're adjusting the resistance, and thus controlling the flow of electricity. So to summarize, a potentiometer is a variable resistor that lets you control the flow of electric current in a device. It does this through a resistive track and a movable wiper, and it comes in two main types, rotary and linear. The humble potentiometer may not get much attention, but without it, we wouldn't be able to adjust our devices to our liking. It's just another example of how the simplest components can have the biggest impact in the world of electronics. Isn't that a fascinating thought? So the next time you're adjusting the volume on your stereo, spare a thought for the potentiometer, the tiny traffic cop that makes it all possible.